Here's an extremely common mistake in physics exams. Imagine that we have a spring and we're attaching some mass onto it. Quite often in questions you might get asked to design an experiment, let's say for instance to determine the spring constant k. One way to do this would be to vary the amount of mass m that's attached onto the end of the spring and measure the time period t. And here comes the mistake that I see very very often when I mark papers. Oh, I would just pick some values, plug them into this equation and find the spring constant k. This approach unfortunately relies only on one set of data and wherever possible we should strive to plot graphs. Now in this case there are a couple of possible graphs that we could plot. For instance we could square both sides of the equation then we will get that t squared is equal to 4 pi squared m divided by K. Now, if we compare this with y is equal to mx plus c, and if we perform linear analysis, mx um, plus c, where this m is the gradient, actually, shall we just call it the gradient, because m is already reserved for the mass. And if we plot a graph of t squared on the y-axis against m on the y-axis, we're going to see that our gradient will just be equal to 4 pi squared over k, meaning that k will be equal to 4 pi squared divided by the gradient. When you're revising physics, it is very useful to be looking at common mistakes and have a look at this multiple choice questions on springs, which many people did not get right in an A-level physics exam. And this video is just over here.